going on guys? Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's video, we're going to talk all about how to get the best results from air drawing your hair. Yeah. This video is a practical video. We're not talking about air drying on a day that you are just home all day with nothing to do other than sit and stare at your hair. This video is for those of you and those of us who want to have a very practical hair routine. So you would like to be able to wash your hair in the morning, let's say, and then leave your house with damp hair, not soaking wet hair ever, just damp hair, go to work, have your hair at least look dry, um, and just go about your day and having basically a wash and go hairstyle. So these are very practical tips. It's things that I use for years, things that worked for me, um, I wish everybody had hours and hours to spend on their hair um, without a care in the world and you could just sit in your home and meticulously let your hair air dry, but I know that that is not a reality for everybody. Um, a quick solution to that is to diffuse your hair. And I do diffuse my hair a lot, especially lately, but I just don't get the same result as I do from air drying. and. I don't have time to diffuse my hair on a cold setting. So when I'm diffusing my hair a lot, I'm using a lot more heat on my hair. It just looks better, looks healthier, looks shinier uh, when I let it air dry most of the time. We're not gonna talk too much about your styling routine because this video would be too long, but basically you're gonna apply your products to your wet hair in the shower um, as you always would. If you're brand new to my channel or brand new to the Curly Girl Method, I'm gonna link a video up here or you can just search Curly Girl Method. Basically one of the main points or main uh, takeaways from a lot of these videos is when you have wavy and curly hair, it's really beneficial to apply your products to your hair either in the shower when your hair is still soaking wet or really, really damp when you get out of the shower. Okay, so you're not applying products to your dry hair at all. So your hair has your hair cream and your gel in it. That's what I normally use, hair cream and gel or hair cream and mousse or just mousse or just gel or whatever really works for you. You wanna get those products in your hair when your hair is wet. Um, then the first thing that I do when I get out of the shower is I'm going to either plop or squeeze the excess water out of my hair. And we're gonna take a little break and talk about plopping for a minute. The purpose of either plopping or squeezing the excess water out of your hair is to start the drying process. So obviously if your hair is soaking, dripping wet, it's gonna take like three to five business days to dry. One of the other main reasons that you're gonna either plop or squeeze the water out of your hair um, is because when your curls are weighed down by water, they're gonna dry in that stretched out, weighed down position. So for example, like my bangs here, if my hair was soaking wet right now during the drying process, they would be all stretched out and they would kind of dry like this, right? In this shape and that's what they would look like. So I really want to get as much water um, out of my hair as possible in the beginning before I just let my hair air dry. So for me, when I plop, I kind of plop out of convenience because in the morning, it's not just like, again, like I said, I can get out of the shower and then sit and wait for my hair to dry. I'm tidying up my house and getting my kids ready. I'm feeding my dog. I'm doing all these things. And I don't want to have a bunch of wet hair in my face. So the plopping is actually really convenient for me. And it's just holding my curls in their pattern as some of the water is gently absorbed from my hair. And so that begins the drying process. So I really do like plopping, but I find I don't get much of a difference between when I plop and when I just squeeze the water out of my hair. It kind of has the same purpose, um, but the plopping just gives me a period of time with my hair off my face, and I find it gives me a really good result. So I tend to plop for about 10, 15 minutes or so. After I take the towel off my head, gently, because I don't want to disturb my little clumps that I got um, too much, but once I take the towel off my head, my hair should feel damp. Not dry, but damp. And at that point, lately, I like to add a little bit more product. Um, and I have been adding mousse. So this is the mousse I use. I like this mousse because it's alcohol free. It's made by herbal essences or herbal essences, I should say. And this is just the first one that I found that was cheap that I liked. So I'm not like promoting this specific product. I do like it. You might really like it. A lot of the people that watch my channel like it, but if you have a mousse, 
um, or a foam or something that you really, really like at home, it's gonna do the same thing. But basically, at some point while my hair is still damp, um, either right after I take out my plop or like a few minutes later, um, I apply some mousse to my hair and I just use like about that much, rub it through my hands and I use the praying hands technique, right? And I tip my head upside down, you don't have to. You can just tilt your head forward and I scrunch the mousse into my hair very gently. If you don't wanna to touch your hair with your hands, you could use your damp microfiber towel, that would work great, or your damp t-shirt or whatever you use to plop. But I do that and then I'm going to clip my hair up to create volume, to allow like air to circulate around my scalp so that my roots dry, and also just to pin my hair off my face so that I can leave home and go to work or go wherever I'm going with damp hair and my hair, I don't look like Cousin It. My hair is not all hanging in my face and my hair kind of looks like it's styled a little bit. Root clipping or clipping up your hair while it's drying is not necessary, but it really helps to create volume at the root. So if I let my hair air dry with no clips in it whatsoever, I find like my scalp and my roots stay very damp for a long, long time and my hair's flat. One way to resolve this, let's say you didn't clip your hair back and you go out and you catch a glimpse of yourself in the mirror, your hair's dry and your, and your roots are like completely flat, you could just part your hair on one side and kind of flip it over and it will give you a little bit of volume. So I will do that, but for the most part, I really love clipping up my roots. Now, if you've been following the Curly Girl Method for any length of time, you have probably, I gotta get this open, you probably come across videos um, of people using these to clip their roots. And it's very effective, especially if you have short hair. If you have a short curly hairstyle, then these actually really work. But for me, it's too meticulous to put them in and to take them out. And I want to leave my house with my damp hair and go about my day. I'm not going to go to work like either in an office or um, on a nursing unit or anything like that. I'm not going to go to work with a bunch of these in my hair, right? I'm just not. Maybe you work in a job where you could get away with that, but I certainly don't. Um, so I prefer to use claw clips. Now, if you're watching this video and you have that short hair and you have the time to do root clipping and you're like, what is root clipping? I really want to find out more about this because I'm telling you it really does work. I'm going to leave a video linked here and in the description box I'm going to call it root clipping. It's not one of my videos, it's just a video that I found online that I think is really good. These are the claw clips that I use. I really like these because during the drying process they don't look bad. I actually kind of got this trick from my stepmom. Um, but when she does it, she's normally home. She's either home like studying lines or writing or doing something that she is not like leaving her house right away. So hers sometimes are in crazy. Like she's got like her hair all piled up on top of her head with the clips in. And let me tell you, it gives her a ton of volume. So if I was home for the day, I think I would put more clips in and I would clip my hair up even higher. But I want it to give me volume, but also, just kind of look like my hair is half up and half down, like with a little bump, so that when I go out in public, it just looks like my hairstyle. Now, sometimes when my hair dries, I look at myself and I think, oh, I kind of like my hair half up and half down like this. And I might take the clips out, shake my hair out a little tiny bit, um, if I have a little bit of a cast, and then stick them back in and leave my hair half up and half down. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm trying to show you how you can wear your hair down um, and get some volume. So by the end of the video, I will take these clips out and kind of show you how they create volume, but they just give the hair in this section of my head a little bit of a lift. And when I part my hair, um, it's gonna give me some nice volume. Let's talk about what to do when your hair is completely dry. And I'm gonna start this conversation by talking about things that happen that are beyond your control and how to fix them. So the thing about having like wash and go hair is that yes, it is a little bit unpredictable. Depending on the weather, is it like super windy out? Did it pour rain? Um, did you not evenly apply your products in the shower and now you have like 
just one section of your hair that's really fuzzy? Um, did you end up with more frizz than you wanted? Did you end up with like a hard cast by accident? The longer you try this and go through trial and error of letting your hair air dry, the more you're gonna perfect your technique and the less mistakes you're gonna make and the less you're gonna have to like correct your hair after it's fully dry. But in the beginning, sometimes I would go to work and I would be pumped about the way my hair turned out. And sometimes I would go to work and be like, oh, I didn't put enough product in my hair and it's just too fluffy. Or I would end up with what I call an accidental cast and I end up with like crispy, crunchy ends. So when I get to work, if I have an accidental cast, I don't just look at myself and go like, oh, my hair looks really producty or crispy or, or whatever, it's that wet look, I don't really want that. I don't do that. I just like sneak somewhere, like in the bathroom and I use a paper towel or whatever, and I just scrunch out the crunch the same way you would um, if you were purposely creating a gel cast. The next thing we're gonna talk about actually requires you to have product with you, which I do not think is unrealistic if you have wavy or curly hair and you want your hair to look good all day. So the next thing that has happened to me occasionally is like I didn't distribute my product evenly or I didn't put enough mousse in my hair or something and like one section of my hair just like fluffed up and I don't have any curl definition. So like this side I can already tell is exactly the right amount of product and the way that I want it. And actually this side is pretty good too. I did a pretty good job today. But I have gotten to work and looked at my hair and there was like a big clump of hair that was really fluffy and frizzy and the rest of my hair looked pretty good. In that situation, I would just go in the bathroom quickly and you could just use water from the tap. You don't need like a fancy mist or like a fancy like spray bottle or something like that. You could just take that section of hair, wet it with water from the tap, give it a little like twist, you know, stick a little tiny bit of mousse in it, like, like a tiny bit, like that much, and just get some water and product in that one little section of hair and scrunch it up and then let it dry. The third thing I wanna talk about is just like hair disasters. So you leave your house, it starts raining, your hair gets wet, or your hair was like half dry, gets wet again, the humidity is crazy, something happened, you get to work and it looks like the cats were sucking on your hair. That's what my grandmother used to say. <laughs> Anyway, you can't be at work when, when you look like the cats were sucking on the ends of your hair. So what do you do when you went through that whole process and your hair dries and it's just like super frizzy, it was raining, it's all stretched out, it just didn't turn out well. This is when you have to have a backup plan. So I think it's an unrealistic expectation to think that every season, every day of the week, you're going to have perfect hair that you can wear down all the time. You need to have a backup plan. I would never go to work and not have like, like this, like a claw clip or a silk scrunchie, couple of bobby pins, stuff like that in my bag. It is what it is. Sometimes she goes and sometimes she don't go and that's just how it goes. I'm back, my hair is totally dry. I'm gonna get up close so that you can see it. I didn't do much today. I didn't work today, obviously, but I did have to leave my house and it is raining. And you guys are gonna think I'm nuts. But I wrapped this, I have these microfiber towels. I wrapped this around my hair loosely to get from my house to the truck. And I wore this on my head in the truck because I had to drop my baby off somewhere and come back. And I really wanted to finish this video and I didn't want my hair to be ruined. So that kind of worked. So I guess that's a tip too. My hair is totally dry, like even at the roots, um, it's really dry. So I'm gonna take the clips out and kind of show you what the next step would be. So again, my hair doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna get up close so you can see it. It's definitely shiny. Um, there is a little bit, tiny bit of like crispiness at the ends. And I could take this microfiber towel and kind of break that up a little bit if it bothered me. I don't mind having a little bit of product in my hair. Like I don't care if people look at my hair and say, oh, her hair looks like there's mousse in it. I would rather my hair be a little bit shinier, but it's like a fine line because um, when I first started making these videos, I was, when I go back and watch them, I find that my hair looked too producty and I don't really like that look either, but anyway, if I had a little tiny bit of crispiness or a cast, I could use this to like scrunch it out. 
And then I would just take out the clips like so and just kind of part my hair or place it the way I want. If you want more volume, you could do some more parts in the back, place some pieces around and get the shape I want. You can do like a zigzag part to give yourself some volume. I just kind of do like a side part. This is my end result. And I'm really, really happy with the way that my hair turned out today. This is the result that I wanted and that I expected. It's not perfect. I have some frizz um, like here and that's okay. I'm cool with the frizz as long as my overall hair look looks curly and shiny and healthy. I hope you like this video. Please know that it is going to take a little bit of trial and error to figure out exactly how much product to use in your hair. Um, and how much to let your hair dry in the plot before you reapply products um, and a little bit of strategy placing those clips and things like that but I really hope that you give air drying a try and if it's something that didn't work for you in the past maybe apply these tips and try it again if you're somebody who already gets a good result from air drying and you have some things that I didn't mention or some tips that I didn't mention please put them in the comments section below because I find a lot of people who watch these videos read the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please feel free to give it a big old thumbs down. I'm gonna link the plopping demo at the end of this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.